Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back. Problem 7.15. The statement of problem is that for given state of stress determine the normal and sharing stress after the element shown has been rotated through 25 degree clockwise and the part B is 10 degree counterclockwise. So we will write the given data. So it is given that uh, sigma x is equal to 8 ksi. Similarly, sigma y is also given that is under compression, so it is minus 12 ksi. And tau of xy it is given as minus 8 ksi. And you must be able to know why it is minus 8 ksi. Clear? Not sorry, minus this is minus 6 ksi. So let me correct it. It is minus 8 ksi sorry 6 6 ksi so what we have to find we have to find in part 1 a you have to find the normal stress sigma x dash sigma y dash and sharing stress tau x dash y dash for element to be rotated at theta is equal to 25 degree clockwise so when you will write clockwise it will be 25 but if you want to write without writing clockwise so theta will be minus 25 degree and part b is you have to find normal stresses after transformation and shear stresses after transformation for theta is equal to 10 degree counterclockwise and counterclockwise theta is taken as positive so let's start with the solution i have mentioned the formula over here so you have to just put so it is easy to find sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 and sigma y sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 first so i will write sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 and this sigma x is equal to 8 sigma y is equal to minus 12 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 2 ksi clear and sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 is equal to sigma x is again 8 minus and minus y uh, sigma y is minus 12 divided by 2 so again it will be plus 20 divided by 2 which is equal to 10 ksi now we will uh, use the formula that is given over here and we will find the shear stress and normal stress so sigma x dash is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 which is equal to minus 2 so minus 2 plus this value which is equal to 10 so 10 into cos of 2 theta so we are going to find the for theta this is part a let's say so theta is equal to 25 degree minus because it is clockwise so 2 theta will be equal to minus 50 degree so here cause of 2 theta so instead of writing so we will write cause of minus 50 clear okay so then plus top x y and top x y is minus 6 so minus 6 into sine of 2 theta and 2 theta is minus 50 degree so when you calculate it it will be 9.02 ksi clear now we will find sigma y dash now sigma y dash is equal to this value and this value is minus 2 so minus 2 minus this value which is plus 10 so it will be minus 10 into cos of minus 50 and again minus 
top x y and top x y is minus 6 so it will be plus 6 6 plus 6 sine of minus 50 degree here when you calculate it it will be minus 13.02 ks i uh, now you will find the shear stress after transformation so shear stress will be equal to minus this value this value is again 10 so it will be minus 10 into sine of 2 theta which is minus 50 degree clear okay so again minus because it is plus and the value of tau is minus 6 so minus 6 into cos of minus 50 degree and when you calculate it it will be 3.08 ksi so if you want to represent them after transformation so i will just show it over here so let's say this is your initial x and this is initial y clear and uh, if you want to represent them theta is equal to 25 degree clockwise so let's say this is your x has been rotated to 25 degree clockwise so it will be x dash and similarly y dash will be again here y dash so if you want to present the element so i will show you the element so let's say this is the element that is after rotation of 25 degree clockwise so sigma x dash will be in this direction and this will be since it is positive so sigma x dash is equal to 9.02 clear now sigma y dash which is negative minus 13 so sigma y dash will be negative compression so this is sigma y dash and it is minus 13.02 ksi and for shear stress we have 3.08 so shearing stress will be like this and this shearing stress will be equal to tau x dash y dash and that will be equal to 3.08 ksi so this is the transform stress when the element is rotated through 25 degree clockwise now we will move to part b where it is given that to find the normal stresses and shear stresses when the element is rotated through 10 degree counterclockwise clear so we will have to find sigma x dash sigma y dash and tau of x dash y dash clear so we will find them in the same manner that we did in part first so again so you can use this formula and if you want quick quick solution so you just change the angle over here so sigma x dash is again that is equal to minus 2 plus 10 into cos of 2 theta now here theta is 10 so 2 theta will be equal to plus 20 degree so I will just replace cos of 20 degree minus 6 into sine of 20 degree and when you solve it uh, it will be 5.34 ksi similarly sigma y dash will be again minus 2 minus 10 into cos of 20 degree minus 6 into sine of sorry not minus this will be plus so this will be plus sine of 20 degree so when you solve it it will be minus 9.34 case i and tau of x y will be equal to minus 10 into sine of 20 degree minus 
6 into cos of 20 degree so when you solve it it will be minus 9.06 ksi so we have find out the normal stresses and these sharing stresses when the element is rotated 10 degree in counterclockwise direction now i will also show you in it after the transformation the element will look like this so let's say this is your initial x-axis and this is y-axis clear now if you have rotated the element through 10 degrees so let's say this is your 10 degree and this x dash is theta is equal to 10 degree in counterclockwise direction similarly your y will be y dash will be this and if you want to show the rotated element so element will be like this so sigma x dash in this direction actually this x will be perpendicular so uh, so your sigma x dash will be this one and that is 5.34 ksi similarly your sigma y is negative which is so it will be again this axis and this should be similar in the same direction clear this is sigma y dash and that is equal to minus 9.34 and your shearing stress will be like this and this shearing stress tau x dash y dash will be equal to minus 9.06 so i hope you have learned from this video again if you have any question you can ask in comment section thank you for watching the video